Are you surprised that she still evokes such strong reactions today? No, not at all surprised. On the positive side, of course, she changed her country enormously. Uh, she took it from being the sick man of Europe uh, with a terrible economy, ranked 19th in the OECD ladder, uh, to second uh, ranked in, in um, the OECD. Um, she transformed the unions, she transformed the nationalised industries, she sla slashed taxes, cut regulations, uh, and turned the, the British economy around. Uh, in doing so, though, of course, um, certain communities suffered. Um, the coal industry, which had been nationalised, had not been allowed to decline gently. And so uh, small towns, m mining towns in, uh, in northern England, for example, which should have been lo losing, say, 50 jobs a year uh, for, 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 for 30 years, suddenly lost 1,500 jobs in one, one afternoon. Uh, so, of course, there was resentment, but I think it's unfairly placed. It should have been her predecessors who, who got the, the butt of that anger because it was her predecessors who didn't let these industries gradually decline. Now, someone in her position could have tried to find a way to help prop up the jobs that were left. She didn't do that. What was it about her and her approach to public policy that said, look, we've got to take these steps to get the, the ship righted? Well, there was very much a feeling that we were in the last chance saloon. Uh, we'd just been through the winter of discontent, uh, January through March of 1979, uh, so-called, as in the opening line of uh, Shakespeare's Richard III, uh, now is the winter of our discontent. And to give you a feel of what it was like, as, as well as the unemployment and the inflation and the industrial unrest, the um, grave diggers were on strike, so coffins were piling up. Uh, ambulance drivers were on strike, so 911 calls were not answered. And um, all kinds of uh, people, the garbage collectors were on strike, so garbage just piled up in the streets. I mean, it was truly awful. Um, in fact, one newspaper, the Daily Telegraph, ran a headline, and the headline was, cheer up, things are getting worse, meaning that the things were getting so bad that it was stoking up a huge appetite for change. And people really had begun to realize that we, 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 we simply had to change else we were going to become a, a, a third world country. Still, no one likes change, but she had the fortitude to stick with her ideas. Uh, oh, yes. What, what, what was it that convinced her that despite all of the cat calls, despite all the criticism, she was heading in the right direction? Well, she had a very strong personal moral compass. I mean, she knew what was right and what was wrong. And um, she had great courage. I mean, remember, she took on the IRA. They tried to kill her. Uh, she took on the Argentinian dictators over the Falklands. Uh, she, she took on the mine workers when they tried to unseat her. Uh, time and time again, she showed uh, incredible um, fortitude and incredible courage and, and tenacity.